Hello and welcome, my name is Bobby and you're watching Mind Island Design. In this video I will show you how you can easily create a realistic apparel mockup in Photoshop. Let's just jump right in and as you see in my layers here I have my shirt layer, a background color and the graphic I want to use. Let's hide that for now and just select our shirt layer and let's just duplicate this by dragging this over the plus icon. Select your top layer, go to filter, blur and Gaussian blur. And then this will change for your image. For me, somewhere around like 1.5 pixels looks good. Uh, the reason we're adding blur is because this is going to be our displacement texture for our graphic. And we just don't want our graphic to be too sharp because that's not very realistic. So this will make sense in a second here. Hit OK. And now let's hide our bottom shirt layer and our background color. Go to File, Save As. And then we can save this as a PSD. I'll just add dash blur and then hit save. Okay. And now we can delete our new layer we just made. Now I will enable all of my layers. You can bring in your graphic if you haven't already, scale it to however big you want it to be. Now let's select our graphic layer and change the blending mode from normal to multiply. And now we can go back up to Filter, Distort, and choose Displace. You can change the horizontal and vertical scale. I'll just leave it at 10 for now. Hit OK and select the new file we just saved, which is, for me, uh, Dash Blur. Hit OK. And now with our displacement filter added, we can double click on our graphic layer on the right here to get our blending options. And now where it says Underlying Layer, you want to hold Alt or Option on your keyboard and drag the right slider to the left. And as you see, we have some of the light and shadows on the shirt kind of poking through our graphic. So for me, somewhere around, let's say, 225 looks good. I'll hit OK. And now to add a bit more realism to this, we can go to our adjustment layers and add a curves. And just hold Alt or Option on your keyboard and go between your curves and your graphic layer until you see this little arrow and square. Click to create a clipping mask, and now we can adjust our curves. You can make your blacks darker or lighter, and your lights or whites lighter or darker as well. But usually for print, your colors aren't going to be as saturated, so I'll just make my curves a bit higher, like this. Somewhere around here looks good. And let's see if I need to adjust my whites at all. So that looks good. So here is before the curves and after. Now if you want to go a step further and add some texture like some cracking or a washed and worn look, I would recommend checking out this video here on screen. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.